All right, um, I want to greet all of you who are viewing right now. Pastor A. E. Rema is my name. I just want to teach you something very briefly, and it's on who is the strong man in your family. From what I have heard so far through the years, for about um, three decades inside ministry work, I've heard apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers called a strong man someone else apart from you. And so I want to do something very quickly. Let's investigate that thought that has been shared by men of God and women of God over time. Who is a strong man in your family? Now from what some have taught, they've told us that the witch or the wizard in your family is the strong man. And so most times when they give you prophecies, they give you prophecies trying to tell you that the strong man in your family is after you and that you must keep praying, you know, to be able to su su succeed, not to have them kill you or destroy you. Sometimes they actually sow seeds so that the, the, the strong man in your family can be subjected or subdued by God. Sometimes you are told to fast because of the strong man. Sometimes you are also told, you know, to worship God or praise God for God to subdue the strong man in your family. Now, this, this baffled me because uh, looking at the scriptures, I, I became very shocked because I could not understand why a witch and a wizard or a witch or a wizard in your family can be called the strong man in your family. But these same men of God will always tell you Christians that, or tell you that because you are in Christ, the greater one is in you. They quote First John chapter 4, and they tell you that the greater one is in you. Even though that's not the context of what that scripture meant, but somehow they try to make you understand that you have the greater one inside of you. And the thing is this, what is it that makes the witch or the wizard a strong man? If we look into scripture, the witch and the wizard is an unsaved person whose spirit is dead meaning Satan and demons are the ones who occupies those who are called witches and wizards. And if Satan and demons occupy them and operate through them, and they are called strong man in your family, then I wonder, because you, you have God in you, in the person of the Holy Spirit, and you have Christ in you, who is the source of all creation, the God of all creation. How can you carry God in you, carry the Holy Spirit in you, you have Christ in you. You are in Christ. You are sealed in the Holy Spirit of promise, according to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13 and 14. And yet, someone is comparing you with a witch or a wizard, and even belittling you that you are not even up to the witch or the wizard in your family. That the witch and the wizard is the strong one in your family, and you are the weak one. And you need to be afraid of them, and you need to do everything possible to see if God can help you kill them or destroy them. So they make you become frightened in the front of a witch or a wizard or an occultic man or native doctor in your family. When you are the one who is the king, who is the God in human flesh to rule and to reign on earth with Christ and with the Father by the Holy Spirit, you should have known that he who is carrying the almighty God inside in the person of the Holy Spirit, carrying Christ inside is the strongest in a family. No one else can be called a strong man apart from you. Because if you take, for example, light and darkness, you cannot tell me that darkness can deal with light. That's impossible. The only thing light does to fix darkness is that light makes itself present. Once light is present, darkness will shift or darkness will be expelled or removed from its place. In other words, your consciousness of who you are in Christ as the light that you carry the Holy Spirit and this consciousness determines your confessions and your manner of life this is what gives you the leverage advantage and gives you the position of ruling and reigning over these things they call witches and wizards and occult men native doctors shamans voodooists and the rest they are subject to you if you are in Christ if you carry the Holy Spirit they carry Satan and, and, and demons you carry the source of even the ones that they carry. It is God who created Lucifer who became Satan. 
It is God who created these beings that are called demons that became these kind of spirits in disobedience and following after Satan. Now, you are the strong man in your family. It is not a witch, it's not a wizard. I wanted to go with this consciousness and make it a confession and then you begin to call them out of darkness into light because Christ died for them. The witch and the wizard in your family, they are candidates for salvation. You are been, you've been given the ministry of reconciliation and you need to speak in prayers, in intercession and supplication on their behalf that they will be taken out of darkness into his marvelous light and become part and parcel of you in the kingdom of our God who is the strong man in your family. Tell your neighbor as you watch this little this video clip that you are the strong man in your family. It's not a witch, it's not a wizard, it's not an occultic man. It's not a cultic boy or girl, it's not a voodooist, it's not a shaman. It is you that is a strong man in your family. Because you are in Christ and you have the Holy Spirit in you. And you are sealed in the Holy Spirit of promise. Father, I pray for them that the eyes of their understanding being enlightened, they will know this truth and they will share this truth with all peoples in all nations. And bring saints who are who have been subjected to the fear of witches and wizards and occultic men and cultic men, bring them out of such fear and establish them in the place of their authority in Christ so that they with you, Jesus, will turn these men that they call strong men in their families who are actually no strong men to Christ or to you. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.